Silhouette users have been asking for this for years. We're talking today about Silhouette Web. It is an online version of the Silhouette software. You can run all of your machines with it from your computer or a mobile device. You can actually design for Silhouette on a tablet or phone now. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette success. I do hope you're going to join our community. Click the subscribe button down below and don't forget the notification bell. There are going to be a lot of new tutorials coming. There is now Silhouette Web, a new version of Silhouette Studio coming out. There's going to be a lot of questions and I'm going to get to all of them as quickly as I can. On top of that, there are new machines coming out. There's the Silhouette Pro Mach 2 and also their new heat press. I believe it's called the Cloche. There are also new tools. Silhouette Summit has just ended and this is always a super exciting time of year. Back to the subject at hand. We're talking about Silhouette Web today and you can find the website through the link in the description or just search in a browser. This is what you're looking for. Silhouette Web the website is beta.silhouetteweb.com. This is the opening screen and this is your home screen. Over on the right hand side, you will find news and updates. This is any announcements from Silhouette. You'll find tutorials, maker spotlights, that kind of thing. Here you have project templates. You have your standard blank documents, vinyl sticker, heat transfer t-shirt. It goes on and on. There are quite a few templates there to choose from. Under that, you have your recent library files. These are the recent files in your Silhouette Studio Library. Below that, you have a Just For You section, and if you click on any one of these, it will take you to the Silhouette Design Store, and you can purchase these designs and use them. Let's open up a blank document and explore the design page. You're going to be prompted to answer a series of questions. I'm going to be using a machine from the Cameo series. I will be using the Cameo 5. You can scroll to find more options. I'm using the manual feed and I will choose the Cameo 12 by 12 mat. And I will leave my media size at 12 by 12 as well. And then we can click on get started. Now we're on the design screen. And if you are used to working in Silhouette Studio, this is going to look familiar, but also very different. On the left hand side, you have add shapes, trace, transform and replicate are combined, add text, print and cut, modify, offset, sketch and stipple, and specialty tools. You can click this arrow to close that down. Over on the right, you have your page setup, your selector tool, editing points, add text, line tools, drawing tools, your knife tool, and your eraser. At the top, you'll find your fill color, your line color, line style, scale, move, align, layers, group and ungroup, and then you have your undo and your redo button, and this is your fit to window. Above that, you can choose between your design page and your send page. We're going to stay in the design page for just a few minutes and for simplicity's sake, we're going to bring a heart onto our design mat. If you double click on the element, you'll notice you have a few different options similar to what you would have if you right clicked on an element in Silhouette Studio. The X will delete the element this circle arrow allows you to rotate the design. Down here you can duplicate. And in this corner you can scale it down to size. And you can kind of squish the element with any of these four dots. 
Now let's take a look at the send page. You have tool choices down at the bottom. You can choose between tool one or tool two, or you can ignore the selected lines. Over to the right at the bottom, you'll see that you're going to have to scan for your devices. So let's click on that. This window will open up and you will see that it is scanning. This might take a minute, but you can see right now I have no compatible devices found. If this happens, you can press the Bluetooth button on your device to turn it off and then press it to turn it back on and typically it will be able to find it at that point. My Cameo 5 has popped up here. I can click on that and then click on Pair. Then it's going to bring up my settings summary. It's going to show the material, the action, and the tool. So here I have cardstock plane. The action is set to cut. It's detected the auto blade. Over here I did choose to use tool one. If I want to switch that to tool two, then tool one says no cut lines assigned. Tool two is showing my settings with cardstock, sketch, and pen holder. Under that I have would you like to mirror this design? I have not tried this feature out yet. I know in Silhouette Studio it's best if you mirror your design on the design page instead of the send page. When I get more into this, I will let you know if this works well or if it does not. Let's set this back to tool number one and go to test or modify settings. Now we are still at cardstock. Our speed is four. Blade is set at three. Force of 20 one pass and we have the option to turn on the intelligent path technology or leave it off. Just click on the button here and it will toggle on or off and that does not seem to be working at this point. Possibly because it's not an intricate design, I'm not sure. I am learning this as we go as well. You can use the arrows to adjust these settings and you can either save the changes, you can go back if you haven't changed anything. And this is the test settings. If you want to do a test cut, this is where you're going to click. I'm going to go ahead and go back and click on continue. Now it does offer a tutorial for the newer users and you can click on continue if you would like to see all of the information or you can skip the instructions if you already know what you're doing at this point. Let's click on continue to see what they have to offer. The first one is load the auto blade, load tools. The auto blade is detected. It tells you to place your media on your mat, load the mat. And if I were to click continue again, it says make it your job is ready. Now I do not have my media loaded, but if I did, I could press send and it would be directly sent to my Cameo 5 to cut. I highly recommend that you set aside a few minutes to get into Silhouette Web and give it a try. Play around with the buttons a little bit. You can't mess anything up. If you're looking for more details on exactly what Silhouette has coming up, check out this video here. Go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.